Hello, my crafty friends. How are you today? I This is Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I am coming to you today to share my goals, the, pro, the progress of my goals for December of 2020, and as well to give you a recap of my goals for the entire year for the whole year of 2020. And I do want to share with you, this is the very first time I have ever in my life, and I have been crafting for over 20 years. I started scrapbooking when my oldest grandson was born, and he is now 23, soon to be, soon to be 23. So I've been crafting for over 20 years and this is the very first time I have ever kept track all year long of my stats for the year. So I want to say that I am quite proud of myself. So without further ado, let me get into my goals, my my stats for December. Now a lot of people make made yearly goals I make monthly goals, and I didn't sit down in December and make any monthly goals. So that's why you're not seeing me go over my what my goals were for the month. It was such a busy month. I, I, I just didn't have time to make goals. That didn't doesn't mean that I stopped doing anything because I was just busy, busy, busy. So anyhow, these are the um, stats for, for the month of December. Oh, let me back up. So I was saying that um, a lot of people make goals for the whole year. Um, I typically sit down and make goals at the beginning of every month, and my goals may change. Now, my stats, however, I like to keep, I did this year, and I will continue in 2021, um, keeping track of certain things for, for my stats. So, and I got that idea from Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts when she showed us her little page of where she keeps track of her stats. So, um, I will continue that in 2021. And so, um, this was my little page I made up to show my stats for December. I do digital planning. So, this is my uh, little page and my planner. I did this from August through December. So this month um, for December of 2020, I made 42 Christmas cards. I made 64 other types of cards. I donated 130 cards. I mailed out 295 cards. Now, that, I know that seems like, uh, gosh, that's a whole lot. Well, 200 and, about 250 of those cards went to um, Scrapping for Less customers that had orders, Scrapping for Less customers that had any kind of subscription. So that's why that number is so high. Um, I did 17 types of projects. Projects are... Um, Anything outside of the norm, not a card or anything, and um, and also organization projects. Organization um, still it was still ongoing this month. It's of December. It's still going to be ongoing for January. I hope to be finished with completely finished with this reorganization in my room by the end of January. I did three sheet loads. And I uploaded 10 videos for the month. So I'm um, very proud of that, of the progress that was made this month and all my stats. All right. And so here is my recap of my goals and stats for the entire year. I made 404 Christmas cards. I made 1,042 other types of cards. Total number of cards I made, add those two together, I made 1,446 cards for the year. 
I donated of those 1,364 cards. Um, a lot of those cards went to customers. A lot of those cards went to the assisted living facilities that I um, am donating to. And some of those cards went to my daughter who um, works at a birthing center. Um, I've halted that for now because she doesn't, she has, hasn't even started using the ones that I made. So, so, um, so I'm very, very happy about that. Happy mail, cards mailed, happy mail I sent to people in the crafting community. Thank you cards that to, um, guest designers. I counted in that happy mail. Um, cards I mailed out to family and friends. I mailed out 165 Happy Mail cards this year. I did count in that number of the, the Christmas cards that I mailed out for my, um, you know, in mailing out for my, my Christmas cards that I sent out to, to people. Projects, now that is... I. Like I said, for December, projects is uh, falls under the category of anything that is not a card. Um, also, anything that is not a... Um, well, anything that's not a card, I count it as a project. As well as organization type projects are in there. So, uh, in... in like if I organized one side of my scrap box and I organized a, a, a different area of my scrap box, scrap box, I counted those as two projects. So um, that I had 82 projects for the entire year. Sheet loads. If you have watched my sheet load video earlier today, you will know just how much I love, 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 love sheet loads. I completed 36 sheet loads for the year. Now, I didn't keep track of exactly how many um, cards were made th through the sheet load because the number of cards made through the sheet load are counted up in here in this total number of cards. So 36 sheet loads and then I did other um, cards as well. And I uploaded 40 videos for the entire year. Now, that this was a year where um, on the Scrapping for Less channel, all of my design team members also uploaded to the Scrapping for Less channel. So they, that may seem low. So next year, this number will be much higher or for the year 2021 so because you're seeing this on January 2nd so it is next year so that this will probably be much higher so all in all I am counting this year as for my crafty goals and my craftiness in my room I am counting this as a huge huge win for the year 2020 thank you so much for watching my goals videos every month um, I will link a couple of them at the end at the end and um, I just appreciate you watching I hope you'll join me this year as I, you follow my crafty gold journey for 2021 thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next video bye